Okay, in this video, we're going to find out at which point on the curve y is equal to 1 plus 4tx to the third power minus 3x to the fifth power does the tangent line have the biggest slope? This question right here is actually kind of you know, confusing for some students, so be sure you pay close attention to this. First of all, we're looking for the biggest slope, right? Well, how can we get the slope of the tangent line? We will have to differentiate this one time. So let's just write that down. We know y prime, which is the derivative, which is just do the power rule right here. The derivative of 1 is 0, and then the derivative of this is 120x squared, and then the derivative of this is minus 15x to the fourth power, like that. But right here, do not just set this equal to 0 yet, because we are looking for the biggest slope. This right here is what we know. This right here is going to tell you the slope values at each x value, right? This gives you the original amount. This gives you the slope. So let me just put this down for you guys. This gives you the slope value at the different x values. You don't set this equal to 0. You are not trying to find out the biggest value of the original. But instead, you are trying to find out the biggest value of this. So what do we have to do? Yes, we will have to differentiate this again. And in fact, to keep our sanity, I recommend you guys to do this. So let's write down what we want. We want the maximum. So let me just put that down. I will call this to be the slope function. I will just call that to be s of x, which is this 120x squared minus 15x to the fourth power. And then I will differentiate this again because I'm finding the maximum of this right here, right? The maximum derivative so that you actually have to use the second derivative, right? Anyway, let's put that in action, x prime, which is, by the way, this is the same as that, I'm putting s prime, right? Just differentiate this again, you end up with 240x, and then minus 60x to the third power. And right here, we are gonna set this to be zero, so you can find the critical numbers of this function, right? This right here is the slope function, just think about it like that. Okay, so now the rest is just pretty much the usual work. For this right here, I would recommend you guys to solve it by factoring. Let's factor out the 60x first, and then this right here will be 4 minus x squared, and I want to look at this to be 0. I can factor this out more. So this is 60x, 2 minus x, 2 plus x to be 0. And from here, we actually have three critical numbers. Let's put that down right here. First, you have 0 because 60 times 0 will give you the whole thing 0, right? You have the x right here. So you have one solution, which is 0. The next one is this factor. You make it equal to 0. x will be 2. Next one, same thing right here. You have negative 2. So you have three critical numbers to consider. This is not easy anymore. You have to pay attention to which one right here will give you the maximum. Therefore, let's go ahead and do our first derivative test right here. If you would like, you can also do the second derivative test. It's up to you. So let's just do the first derivative. This right here gives us the sign chart for the s prime. And I'm going to put this in order, of course. Negative 2 right here, and then 0 right here, and then 2 right here. All right. I'm going to pick a number less than negative 2 and then put it here. The factorative form, it's easier, right? For example, you can put negative 20. This will be negative. 2 minus negative 20 is positive. And then 2 minus 20 is negative. Negative times negative is positive times another positive is positive. So right here, we have positive, right? And don't be lazy. You actually have to check each and every interval. So now let's do the next one. Pick a number in between of 0 and negative 2. Let's say negative 0.5, you would like. Negative 1 to 0.2 if you would like. Oh, okay. anyway. Let's say negative 1. This will give us negative. This right here will give us positive. This right here will give us positive. So negative times positive, which is positive, times another positive is negative, right? Because the first one is negative. All right? So same thing. Let's pick a number between 0 and 2. Let's say 1. Put it here. Positive. 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 So good. Pick a number bigger than 2, let's say 25. So positive, negative though, 
and then positive. So altogether, you get negative right here. Now, by looking at the sign chart of the first derivative, you see the first derivative changes from positive to negative. That means this function it changes from going up to going down. So you have a local max right here. So here you have a max, right? local max technically. And right here, you also have a local max because similar reason, you put a uh, positive to negative, yeah, same thing. So let's just do that, like that. All right, and the question is asking us, which one right here have the biggest slope, right? So maybe I will actually plug this two in into here. But notice, if you plug in two here and here, it's the same value if you plug in negative two here, here, because you are squaring anyway. So you should also check, indeed, they are both absolute maximum. They are both absolute maximum. Once again, you should plug in negative two into this function, work that out. So let me just make a note right here for you guys. Note. If today I put in 2 into my s function, which is, let's say, put on negative 2, which is right here, okay? And then this is actually going to be the same as s of 2, right? And this right here will tell you the biggest slope, right? This is going to be the biggest slope. And let's see, I didn't know, no, let's put on 2, so this is going to be 4. This is 480, right? So this is 480 and then minus. Putting 2 right here is 16. 16 times 15 is 80, and then 16, which is 240, so minus 240. So this right here is, good. wow, 240. This is the biggest slope that you can get on the original curve. 240 is the biggest slope that you can get on the original curve. Well, this is not yet. This is only the x values. x equals negative 2 and x equals 2. Our question is asking us at what points? Which points, right? So you have to refer back to the original. This is the curve that will tell you the point. So finally, I need to calculate when I plug in negative 2 in here. So when x is negative 2, we are going to put this back to the original y. So we get y equals 1 plus 40 times negative 2 to the third power minus 3 times negative 2 to the fifth power. And then just do this on your own. You get negative 2, 2, 3. And then similarly, when x is 2, we get y equals 1 plus 40 times 2 to the third power minus 3 times 2 to the fifth power. And this will give you 2, 2, 5. So here are the answers. When x is negative 2, we are going to pair this up with negative 2, 2, 3 for the y value. And this is the point on the curve. And the other point is when x is 2, and the y value will be 225, like this. And notice that, in fact, we did do two derivative, right? This is technically the second derivative of the original. And yes, these are the point of inflections. And at point of inflections, they will give you the biggest or maybe the smallest slope. In our situation, it was the biggest. And yeah, just do all this to verify it. Anyway, this is it. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And as always, that's it.